Hi friends, the topic of this video presentation is network layer. The contents covered in this video presentation are delivery, forwarding and routing protocols. First, delivery. The network layer supervises the handling of the packets by the underlying physical networks. We define this handling as the delivery of a packet. Delivery refers to the way a packet is handled by underlying networks under the control of the network layer. Types of delivery. The delivery of a packet to its final destination is accomplished by using two different methods. First, direct delivery. Second, indirect delivery. Direct delivery. Direct delivery occurs when the IP node forwards a packet to the final destination on a directly attached network. Indirect delivery. Indirect delivery occurs when the IP node forwards a packet to an intermediate node because the final destination is not on a directly attached network. Forwarding. Forwarding refers to the way a packet is delivered to the next station. Forwarding requires a host or a router to have a routing table. When a host has a packet to send or when a router has received a packet to be forwarded, it looks at this table to find the route to the final destination. Forwarding means to place the packet in its route to its destination. There are three types of forwarding methods. First, next hop method. This technique is used to reduce the contents of a routing table. The routing table holds only the address of the next hop instead of information about the complete route. The gateway or next hop is the destination address of the next network location that data packets will be transmitted to on their way to the destination IP address. Route method versus next stop method. Second, network specific method. The technique used to reduce the routing table and simplify the searching process is called the network specific method. Here, instead of having an entry for every destination host connected to the same physical network, host specific method have only one entry that defines the address of the destination network. Host specific method versus network specific method. Third, default method. Another technique to simplify routing is called the default method. In figure, host A is connected to a network with two routers that is R1 and R2. Router R1 routes the packet to host connected to the network N2 and router R2 is connected to the rest of the internet. So, instead of listing all networks connected in the entire internet, host A can just have one entry called the default. Routing protocols are classified as intradomain and interdomain. Routing protocol specifies how routers communicate with each other, distributing information that enables them to select routes between any two nodes on a computer network. Intradomain routing protocol Routing inside an autonomous system is referred to as intradomain routing. There are two intradomain routing protocols. First, distance vector routing. Second, link state routing. Intra interdomain routing protocol routing between autonomous system is referred to as interdomain routing one of the interdomain routing protocol is path vector routing protocol these are the references we you we have used in this video presentation these are the questions covered in this video presentation
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो